Two big goals today. One, I've got an idea to make milking our two cows faster. Whoa, we gotta get something. This might not work. And two, looking at and marking, hopefully, two and a half acres worth of forest that we can run our professional pig operation in. This was hanging out of sight like I hung in a tree, so I'm gonna be like holding it down. <laughs> I'm gonna be holding it down here to do the rest of this. Oh, and it gets hung. Y'all ready to go or what? I'm getting this ice for the cooler. Idea number one, this one's, whose idea is it? Mine, yours? Mine. Both? I was thinking about it in bed when I woke up. If we bring a cooler, we could put the milk from the first cow in the cooler, not have to bring it back right away because we've been making a trip. And we can go right at milk in the second cow. Before we go do that though, Jonah brought up a point that he, he saved some charcoal from our wood boiler for the pigs, so let's check that out. What made you think about doing this? Uh, I washed the hollows and he made charcoal. So I thought, <laughs> well, we have a wood boiler, I can get some charcoal out. Nice. What it comes down to, charcoal is really only the minerals from the wood, because they don't burn, and it's so good for the animals. I, it, it's water. Wait, what are you doing? It's water. How'd you get the lid open? I got it on. He asked me to open the lid. I wouldn't do it. I didn't imagine this though. I just imagined the lid getting lost. <laughs> it feels good in here. It's about time to move them. Probably tomorrow. Yeah. They've come in here a little bit. Barely touched it in here. Let's feed them up here today, guys. Pick, 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 pick. We're trying to get this area cleared out a bit so that we can come in here and clear it without... We got much less tough skin than they do. They're happy eating their food. We do have their charcoal here. So we can keep them on it or just, just see if they eat that, enjoy that. And if they do, maybe we'll start putting it in their mineral feeder. Normally we keep Sally outside of the fence. We're gonna need her to take the first milking back. But now that we're doing this, we can actually pull in and get all their supplies there and we aren't carrying our supplies over the fence. So far, so good. Anything to save a little bit of time because a little bit of time every day adds up to a lot. First step is to get Flossie in the stanchion. Uh-oh. Phyllis is coming forward. Tell everybody why we have to get Flossie first. Cause she, be she will hurt, hurt Phyllis. Here's the plan. We're gonna get the dominant cow in the stanchion first. And then we're gonna get a leash on Phyllis. And we're gonna tie her up. Where? We'll put Flossie up there. Shoot, we kinda need two, f we're kinda not prepared for this. We kinda need two feed pans, honey. Can't they eat off the ground? I, I think, I, in a pinch. Just make sure we don't. Hey, big guy, big guy. Just make sure we don't put it in poop. Okay, whoa, we gotta get something. This might not work. Do something with Phyllis. Okay, there she goes, there she goes. Here we go, Jonah, can you come hold this camera? Here, here, here. Here we go. Good. Guys, this is our first time attempting this, so it's gonna be a little bit. All right. The reservoir is nice and cold, so just, no, just put your right milk in there. Trisad is giving it more alfalfa, so she's happy when she gets cleaned. If you put the pen up there, that could be your um, stanchion. Get everybody there. Full on alfalfa, they're ready to milk. Other cow. Here, strip her out. It was cool to think we could be able to pour this out right in Sally. Phyllis stood still for me pretty good, but the one problem is her teeth. Her teeth clogging up again, so I had to go get the ca her calf. But one cool thing about it was when I went to get her calf, I could get the other calf because we milked them both at once. That means we didn't have to make that trip twice. I mean, that seems like a little bit, but all this is adding up. This has been a really good idea. <laughs> it's my idea. It's your idea. So I got Phyllis's calf 
to release release this plug and it 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 released right away. I think it's a scab. I think it's scabbing over. I think there's a little bit of a cut there or something. And it just gets clogged up because it's scabbing. Another thing I thought of while I was milking is we're gonna be able to let these gals out at the same time. Guys, that doesn't seem like much to you. But to walk down there, let out one cow, come back, walk down there and do it again, guys, and then the calves walk to get the calves twice. Guys, we're already saving those two trips, plus the trips to bring the equipment because we can get Sally in. We're cutting off three little micro trips that really add up. You don't want the less dominant one stuck in a stanchion with the dominant one about. She can't run and get out of the way. Look at this. Boom! I love it, I love it. And now I don't feel so rushed to like get home either. Like move, move the shed, hurry up, get this milk cool because it's starting to cool. It's right over there. Guys, glorious forest. This is going to be perfect pig forest. Look at that. Look at that. It is so nice. So much, not too steep. I'm um, working on doing Joel Salatin's system, professional pig raising, 10 paddock system for 30 pigs. Although, I think I wanna just start with 15. So I only need half the acreage. I think it's good to start small, and then we only need two and a half acres. I don't think that right there is two and a half acres. Hopefully, there's an access road there. Hopefully on the other side of the access road, and back, without it getting too steep, we can find two and a half acres. Hey, I think that you might be able to keep the ice in there because it's been so cold. Let's just see. How cold is that yet? Maybe I'll use it tomorrow. What's it at? 64. That is cooling off, man. Yeah. Brilliant. Jonah, burning it up. Oh. <laughs> no shame, no shame. Okay. Hey, some of you guys are worried about me. Thank you for my video about my struggle, but don't worry, don't worry. I'm just sharing my adventures with you guys. I'm just, I'm just sharing ups and downs. I'm gonna be all right. The, uh, look at this, pumpkin rolls. Everybody had pumpkin rolls last night and we watched a Christmas movie, so it was kind of an event. And I thought, I'll cheat. But then as it got closer, it's like, with what happened, me cheating and then some symptoms worsening and then it being so difficult getting back into it, like man. We thought of a better carnivore-ish. You know, berries every once in a while are not a bad idea. Unsweet berries too, like blueberries, and then we whip some of our cream unsweetened. That did the job, and I feel great today. I feel like that's new for me. I feel like that's a breakthrough going into something, and it wasn't so much about discipline as much as it was about I don't want to feel like crap. I'm not going to do this. That was a change. And a lot easier to resist. A little experiment here today on the Burn It Up cooking show. I had a little bit of that beef grease from yesterday's meatloaf. I'm going to try to make a little bit of a carnivore sauce out of it. Let's experiment. So it's basically just coming down to beef fat. Okay. Uh, pretty tasty as it is. Will butter make it a little hair tastier? Ah, it's hot. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if it improved it much. I think it was okay on its own. This came out nicely. This time I cooked some bacon along the side, just a little more fat. Not because it's rare, yeah, but I just good. like the end. Look at that, delicious. Cut up some of that bacon on there, mm. I think the butter ended up burning. I hope it didn't burn, this is brown. Afraid to... Okay, it's still all right. Put a little juice on it. So I know we were just cooking breakfast, 
We just ate breakfast and we're gonna go ahead and prep for supper. Why not? Because the kitchen is already a mess. Why not knock it all out at once? Get some of our beets. They've been in uh, sand, carrots too. All right, come on. Turn off the light when you come out. Oh, let's get an onion too, guys. Maybe a big one and a small one. What are you making? What are you making? A garland. Hey, Teddy. That's cool. Oh, did you, you, you hydrated these oranges? I did. We, we find your the tub. tub. There it is, right there, how we one. just said that. I made sure to cut those vegetables into half inch, one inch squares. We've tried cooking them whole before and it just doesn't get done in time. Brian the chicken. Let's do it like that, I reckon. And I just put the oven on a time delay. So we'll probably, hopefully we'll be out there measuring for this pig pattern, in case we're not back. This thing can get started on its own. It's kind of like farmer's fast food, more like a farmer's convenience food, because while it's cooking, we can go out and about and get stuff done. We're gonna check out a GIS map of our property. One of the most important tools for designing. We can look at this and see our property where we currently have people. This has grid lines wait, wait, showing the steepness in, like, so we can kind of look where we're thinking we're going to have these pigs like this is this is where the cows currently are up here we know that's way too steep but here down here along this access road is where we're going to be looking for stuff up there yeah and then it's not it's not as one more thing i needed to study you know joel zelton has already put in the work and now he's put down his plans like look at this this is a 10 paddock system. Can you guys see that? Yes. Now, in the real world, it's not laid out so nice and square. You'll see in a minute, it's quite curvy. Paddocks are gonna be more narrow and long in some spots, you'll see. But some of these tips in here, you can see where I've underlined. Half acre paddocks, that's, 20, that's 2,400 square yards. Did you guys know that? And you can, when you make one step, it's like a yard. So three feet is one step. So you can kind of easily walk it off. I've got a wheel measurer. One half acre in size for 35 to 50 heads. So a little more than I was thinking in that size. Oh, and by the way, Polyface Designs ships January 22nd. On sale right now, guys, through me. I've got a lot of digital content that goes with it. Prices are gonna have to go up at cri Mama, after Christmas. To give us the ball. Lily, can you give them the ball? They don't want to play. With come on, them. come play football. Come on, everybody play with Lily. Everybody include Lily. Come on. Okay, something interesting in the background. Why I share this? <laughs> it's gonna distract me. Okay. I'm adding a lot of value to that, guys, and price is gonna go up with the value. I'm gonna hold off till after Christmas, just in case you guys want to get this as a Christmas gift. Joel is signing till the end of the year. Uh, and if you get in now, you're gonna get any bon any digital bonuses that I add from now on. And and every time I promote this thing, I'll probably add some bonuses. So the sooner you get in, the better. I'll leave the link for Polyface Design down in the description. <laughs> oh! <laughs> good job. You guys are good sports. Playing tackle too, I love it. Now you did hear me right. It doesn't ship till January 22nd, so how's that gonna be a Christmas gift? Well, if you get it, we give you a digital printout of a card that you can give somebody and it also gives them five really short links <laughs> to, to bonuses. So you can give it as a Christmas gift if, you print, if you're willing to go, download this thing, print it out, just one page, and it gives them some digital bonuses to hold them off until uh, it's supposed to ship around January 22nd at this point. So you're throwing it to the other team, he's gonna run. There. Go! <laughs> She's tough. <laughs> She's tough. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, just so you say hike. Hike. <laughs> now run. Oh. Now just so like getting can try to get open. Oh, touchdown. There's where the cows have been. That's our cow pasture. Here's going to be a nice chunk. It's not too steep. I'm going to measure walk out that way and then go up a little trail we have and then back and come back down. How do you do square feet if you don't have a rectangle? Oh, and then one of these ends is shorter too. 
basically you got if, if that's our shape you got to end up breaking it down into triangles and squares and then I'll add all those up but I'm gonna maybe take the average and multiply it in my head just to give me a rough estimate of uh, 1.3 acres so 59 square feet so I need about that much more Get in the gun. Yeah. that's the prettiest the spot gun. so we're gonna have to work a little harder to get some of these other spots I'll sell like I'm in a tree, so I'm gonna be like holding it down. I'm gonna be holding it down here to do the rest of this. Oh, I think it's hung. Now that I'm up here getting real serious, this over here just looks too steep. Okay, so I feel like that's quite the reality check. I had this dream, and now then I go out to measure it, and the reality is like crushing that dream. Unless that's not too steep. In my heart, I think it's too steep. I don't know enough about that big of a pig operation that cause two pigs versus 15 pigs is a big difference. So, I got a lot of folks though I can ask. Now, no matter what happened today, we have this. And this has turned out glorious. Come look. Look at that. The chicken turned out amazing. The vegetables turned out amazing, so they say. Uh, forgot to, totally forgot to get a shot of that. But anyway, it's night. The kids are so excited. They want to show you guys the lights. I mean, we have the lights in here. Rebecca did a nice job on our orange decoration. And the tree is looking suave. You guys hung the garland and lights. We're going on a Christmas light show right here, guys. Icicle lights down the side of the house. You put some in the persimmon tree. Looks good. And then you got colorful lights around the chicken pen. And the grand finale. Look at that mailbox. Just I lit it up. Everybody say on the count of three. One, two, three. Woo! Merry Christmas. <laughs> One, two, three. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas!